Hello everyone and welcome to the 314th Board of Supervisors meeting here in Loudoun County. Tonight we are arguing for the implementation of the second entrance at Rockridge High School in Loudoun County, Virginia. Tonight we have Deja J arguing against this entrance and Annika Saloka arguing for it. So without further ado, Deja. Hi, my name is Deja J and I'm a member of the Board of Supervisors. Today, like my partner Caroline discussed, we will be talking about the second entrance at Rockridge. I, for one, am totally against it. First of all, Rockridge is in the middle of nowhere. Where will we put a second entrance? Second of all, we don't have the time nor man support to build a second entrance. And third of all, one of the biggest reasons I'm against it, against it is Briarwoods' entrance cost half a million dollars. Do you have half a million dollars? I didn't think so. Case closed. Thanks. Thank you, Deja. Now we have Annika Sloka, another board member, and she will be arguing the positive. Hello, my name is Annika Sloka, and I passed my Algebra 2 SOL with flying colors. Today, I am here in support of the second entrance at Briar Woods. Unlike my nemesis, Deja, I have actual data compiled by the brilliant calculus students over at Briar Woods. But first, let me start off with a beautifully crafted public service announcement. I find this personally moving. Here you go. Sarah McLaughlin. The following video that you are about to watch is very near and dear to my heart. Please consider after seeing this video voting for the second entrance to the children of Rockbridge. Your vote counts and so does your money. Thank you. Attention. Many homeless, despondent children need your help. Now, they can't continue on by themselves. A recent outbreak of trafficitis has occurred at Rockridge High School in Loudoun County. Hundreds of high schoolers struggle just getting in and out of school each day. For a small donation of $50 a day, you can help these children and give them hope. Hope for a brighter tomorrow, where it doesn't take half an hour to get out of a parking lot, where the students of Rockridge High School do not need to fear going hungry after the long wait in the car, where they are able to speed out of the school at 70 miles per hour like the more fortunate kids over at Briarwoods. The future will be great, but we need your help. They need your help. Wasn't that great? Now here are the actual facts. The number of students at Briarwoods High School is denoted by f of x, and the rate of enrollment is denoted by f prime of x. The Loudoun County population is g of x, and the rate of population growth in Loudoun County is g prime of x. Because the Briarwoods enrollment and Loudoun County population have similar trends, it can be inferred that Rockridge High School will also follow this trend. To find the equation of Rockridge High School's enrollment, we use an accumulation function and use the initial condition of 798 students when they first opened to find the equation for the enrollment at Rockridge High School, which is denoted as h of x. To find the year that a second entrance should be installed at Rockridge High School, we set h of x equal to the amount of students at Briarwoods when they installed their second entrance. The result to the equation told us that in the fourth year of being open, which is 2018, Rockbridge should install a second entrance. Since a lot of the land behind Rockridge is undeveloped, there is plenty of space to install a second entrance. The Briarwoods second entrance cost $560,000 which mostly came from budget surplus from Loudoun County Public Schools. Therefore, Rockridge should start saving now because there might not be a budget surplus for them to fund their entrance. Thank you all for coming out tonight. If Rockridge was indeed planning to do the second entrance, they would need to start saving now as it is a big project. Um, so just keep that in mind and I hope to see you for our next meeting.